Steve Mack here, always great to be here. Fact, since the start of Covid, this is the only place that I've performed apart from this tour. I came here last October to do my comedy show and it was brilliant, so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's exactly. too, sorry, too, 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 too small. Yeah, I sold thousands, two thousand, I sold it, I sold it. No, it was a place called the uh, Bruges Epier, I can't remember. It was lovely at the theatre. What? Bruges Arlet, there you go, thank you. No, you just heard of the theatre. All right, um, we're going to take a moment now to remember the sadly missed late great Richard Wright. It's a song of his all about looking bad when you're a kid and how simple and easy and innocent it is. Something I've just been doing with my oldest childhood friend, in fact, who's here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's called Remember the Day. the band. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I may have to get them to introduce themselves. No, but we'll try. And we'll start with the man who actually came up with the idea for this band. And that is Mr. Lee Harris on guitar and vocal. And then we have on, 
<laughs> we have on keyboards, uh, keyboards and vocals. Anything else? Any other tongues? What? Sound design. Sound design. Yeah, okay. Sound design. Keyboards. Vocals. Barbecue. Double glazing. Salad dressing. You just let us know what you need, Don Canelli. So, Don Beacon. I'll just check for a moment if you're a whole uh, and what are your talents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, on bass, guitar and vocals, a uh, great friend, a man I've worked with for over 36 years, Mr. Guy Pratt. joined the band uh, with, there was no auditions, nothing like that, it was friends getting together uh, and it was fairly sort of relaxed to the point where he thought he'd be working with Roger Waters. <laughs> um, I, on the other hand, thought I'd be working with Tony Hadley, so it was slightly confusing, but wonderful guitar player and vocalist, Mr. Gary Camp. Merci. Uh, I am very honoured to be on this stage. Um, something happened in music in the late 60s, early 70s that seemed to shift the cultural landscape. Um, I 